if you could tell us a, like a little bit about what inspired you um, by the film and in the current work that you're doing. Yeah. Sure. I don't think anyone has any solution for the situation in Hong Kong now, but if we don't talk about it, we'll never find the solution. And so, so we feel that having a dialogue it's, it's very important, yeah. So that's what brought us together, and we call Initiative Dialogue Hour Hong Kong. And uh, Fiona came across this film like a few weeks ago, and she tell us about it, and we both GYME and me watched it, and we were very inspired by by what is possible between two very opposing groups. And this is the first time within Dialogue Hour we are bringing uh, a film uh, for discussion. And we, we, we sort of want to take a global context that Hong Kong, we are not alone in this struggle for, uh, for dialogue, for peace. And we, we're very happy to have this film and have you two to uh, come and share with us uh, what you think. And I think it's, we, we got really positive feedback from our participants uh, for the sharing uh, from last time. Yeah. Oh, good. It meant a lot to us to, to have you see yourselves within the film. Yeah. That was very much our desire. To, to talk about the specific, but really to embrace the universal experiences we all have. Yeah. Well, I have to say, you know, for me in working with the film Disturbing the Peace and on it, you know, my own concepts of what I believe to be true about the situation was very, it changed and it morphed so often with the different conversations I had. And um, I wanted to know if you have experienced the same thing. Are there conversations that because of the dialogue hour and because of attempting to reach out that have kind of shifted maybe the way that you saw the situation before and is it continuing to do that? Um, yeah, definitely. So one of the, uh, the game that we have is uh, we ask a question on uh, one of the hot topic um, that month or, or uh, that week. And um, we asked people to pick their position along a scale of seven at the beginning of the discussion. And then at the end, we asked them to all come back together and see whether they have shifted. Um, the point of the game is not to make people uh, change people's views or shift their views, but to ask people to think a little bit more about where they stand, right? Um, I might think this is three, and this is why I picked three, but someone else who picked three may have a very different uh, reason or different reasons for picking three. So what we have found is people tend to um, discover, like they may not have moved themselves, but then um, they would have discovered new viewpoints that they have not thought about. And I think um, with a dialogue hour or any dialogue, you have the chance to talk to each other face to face instead of like through Facebook or Instagram, where it's not real communication and to hear human story, to, to hear people talk about their own feeling, I think that's very powerful. And that really makes you see a person eye to eye, even if they have very different viewpoint. And I think that human interaction, the storytelling, sharing of feeling would really, doesn't necessarily change your viewpoint, but it makes you more empathetic, have more understanding of, of another person's viewpoint exactly and that's why i also think that the, that the work that you're doing is so important and it's it's less about making sure that you get the whole spectrum in the room and just knowing that you have the right people in the room and the ripples of what you've created in the dialogue hour will continue to ripple out as people go back into their families and their workplaces and their communities we, we always say that um that in this process the first piece you need to be willing to disturb is your oh, own piece. Exactly. Yeah. So, uh, so I'm wondering, um, has, has this process for you um, asked you to do that? And in what ways maybe you could share? What I would like to share is we did a follow up um, to the screening of Disturbing the Peace. So the, the dialogue hour we had afterwards is called Disturbing Your Own Peace. So um, we, yeah, we, we had uh, one uh, session where we uh, design um, segments where we get people to think about their identity, to do an identity map, uh, to think about privilege, to think about um, there um, any potential sense of victimhood, um, very much borrowing um, quite a lot of the themes from Disturbing the Peace, and then your film uh, show us the possibility that like if 
Israelis and Palestinians, they can uh, attempt to find um, a peaceful solution to their situation, um, then there is a way and, 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 and that was inspiring. And um, so, yeah, immediately we thought of sharing it with our group.